So another aspect, Paul, I guess, of the space junk problem is how long the junk is actually there. Because we've talked about before, they slowly have a little bit of drag in low Earth orbit and come back down to Earth. That's right. So the Earth's atmosphere is not cut off at some point. Yep. It just gets thinner and thinner and thinner. And what this means is if you're only 200 kilometers up, if you're not firing rockets to keep yourself there, you probably come down in about a day. Yeah. That's still a lot of orbits. But, but ten orbits or something. That's but right. it's, you've gone around the world multiple times. There's just a little bit of drag will slowly pull you down. By the time you're up at 300 kilometers, it's like a month. Okay. So you're going to last you know, longer. 400 kilometers, which is where a number of spacecraft are, it's a year. Yeah. Uh, but you might need to boost your spacecraft once a year to keep it there. Um, and that's what indeed what they did for the Hubble Space yes. Telescope. They would boost it every now and then to keep it up. Um, and then as you get higher, it gets much bigger, 10 years, 100 years, 1,000 years. And, and you know, as you said, a lot of satellites sit here, so they're up there for quite a few years. Some of those anti-satellite tests we were looking at are seven, 800 So David's going to be up for centuries. Yeah. So they're not going to get clean, those orbits. And this is why if you look at how many spacecraft there are at different orbits, how much space junk there is at different orbits. Yep. So the 200 kilometers, there's not many spacecraft down there. Because, like, I mean, the point is they're not going to really stay there. Most of them are between 800 and 1,000, because a lot of those are actually the debris. Yep. But this is also a good orbit before that debris was there, because it was high enough up, you wouldn't need to reboost it all the time. That's because it would be up there for 10, 20 years, which is well beyond the expected lifetime of a lot of these satellites. Yep. And it cuts off at these low values because of the atmospheric drag. So if you want to be somewhere that's safe from space junk, these low orbits where there is drag because that would have if you can boost the rocket regularly so for example a lot of the uh, the uh, SpaceX Starlink, are going to yeah. be uh, kept it's going to be down here at these relatively low orbits exactly. they have ion drives can keep them up there for a while and there's not much space junk and if they fail they'll just come down naturally by themselves exactly where something up here is going to stay there forever yeah so and I guess that's the, the concept here space junk it's kind of like plastics in the ocean there will be junk that outlives civilization on earth that's right